Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're talking about the French wine growing region of Ardèche. So where exactly is Ardèche located? Ardèche is just north and west of the southern Rhone and kind of on an equal latitude with northern Rhone. But it's in the foothills of the Massif Central or the Central Mountains or the Alps of Central France. In this particular area, wines that are produced are in the IGP category, not the AOC category. Now, what exactly does that mean? IGP is Indication Geographica Protégée, and AOC is Appellation Origine Controlée. That's a whole lot of French for meaning that AOC is the highest level of quality, as sanctioned by the French, and IGP is a step below that. Now in this particular area, we have a hot Mediterranean climate, but it is slightly alpine and it's aided by something called the Mistral. So the Mistral actually pulls cooler air from the upper Alps towards the Mediterranean Sea. And when that air comes down through that particular area, it cools the vineyards which allows them to extend their ripening quite a bit. Now in Ardèche, the focus grape in that area is one called Viognier. And Viognier is a really pesky grape to cultivate. And even to where Viognier gets its name, it gets its name from a contraction. The ancient Roman outpost in Rome was Vienne. And Gehenna means the road to hell. So when we look at Viognier, or Viognier, uh, that is the grape that really was inspired by the Romans, but makes us feel like we're on the road to hell. So let me explain that just a little bit. This is such a difficult grape to cultivate, and ripening really needs to come down to one specific day. If we pick Viognier too early, the resultant wine is lean, it's vegetal, and it's highly acidic it would not sell well in any market. If we pick Viognier just slightly too late, then it's glycerin-laden, high with sugar, and very flabby. So Viognier is literally picked tonight, we're gonna pick Viognier. And then everybody kind of mounts an assault, goes out into the vineyards, they pick the grapes at night, and press them almost immediately. So we retain the high sugar levels but also the beautiful acidity that Viognier kind of chases around a little bit. So I picked a really stunning example, in my opinion, and it comes to us from Les Chandeliers. Les Chandeliers is an Ardèche Viognier, and when we take a look at this particular wine, uh, the first thing that we notice is that it is beautifully golden in color, a little past straw yellow, but not really deep dark gold. If we swirl to liberate some of the aromas, what comes out of the glass is somewhere between dried apricots, spring flowers, and just a little bit of spicy minerality. If we pass this by the palate, you know, Viognier takes the palate on quite a ride. It enters the mouth with just a little bit of say, white peach flavors, and then it becomes a little more dark in its persona. We start to almost taste a little bit of uh, nuttiness to the wine, almost like a kind of a buttered almond. We can definitely feel the glycerin content because Viognier is a very heavy, heavy white grape. And it finishes smooth on the palate because of the minerality in the wine. So a full-bodied wine like this would go perfectly with dishes like uh, Hassenpfeffer, say a baked rabbit, also things like baked chicken, and even some lighter pork dishes. Uh, this is definitely not one I don't think we want with seafood because uh, it in itself uh, definitely kind of comes off the citrus side of things and definitely onto more darker yellow fruits. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit more Les Chandeliers, and that's all the time we have for today, but please tune in next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time.